Hey guys, so the last two um, episodes kind of around causes and reasons why we, we gain weight and why we carry the weight that we carry on each of us um, have been kind of around of factors that are completely out of your control. Um, and they're definitely contributing factors. But now we're going to kind of move a little bit more into environmental factors and things that we, we can kind of have, have some kind of effect on, but are also contributory, once again, to the weight that each of us ultimately carries. So we had talked about genetics a couple of episodes ago. This one, I want to talk about the environment that our parents raised us in, okay? And how that has a huge impact on our eating patterns and behaviors as, as adults. And if you're to look at what you're eating now, it's probably very similar in a lot of senses to what, what your parents would make for you and that sort of thing. There might be subtle differences and stuff and kind of the way it is, but the patterns overall are likely the same. So a couple of the things that often come out and I often hear about is that first and foremost is the meat and potato diet. You know, my parents fed it to me. A number of my patients all also got the meat and potato diet. That was just what we knew. It was cheap. It was easy. You know, mom didn't have to do a lot of work and put it on the table. Here you go. Here's your meat and potato diet. You get your protein, get your carbohydrates, get out of my hair and go play. Right? <clears throat> Likely a lot of you are still kind of eating along that pattern, having those same kinds of foods and maybe making those same kinds of foods for your children as well. Now, it's not necessarily wrong that meat and potato are are bad for you. It kind of comes down to the portion controls and that sort of thing and, and different aspects of it and red meat and oh, there's a whole bunch of other things that we could debate and discuss, but that's out of, out of the scope of this video. But in terms of portion control, well, there was two kind of things that were put there. A lot of times, kids, here's the pot, scoop out your own portions. So a lot of kids were, weren't actually taught what proper portion control is. Looking at the plate, splitting it into quarters, half your plate being vegetables, a quarter your protein, a quarter your starch or your carbohydrate. What really taught that? It was kind of you scoop it out until you felt like it, and then you went and you polished that off. And then the next thing that our parents would say is that, well, before you can have dessert, before you can go out and play, you got to make sure everything on that plate is gone. Got to be part of the clear the plate club. And I still know a number of my patients that are definitely there. I, I certainly do on, on occasion will definitely be part of the clear the plate club, especially when I go to restaurants. I got to make sure that plate is spotless and clean. I paid 20 bucks for this meal. So I got to make sure there ain't a single morsel left there. And... Is it way more calories than what, what I need probably? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it, it, but I got to clear that plate. Either I got to take it home with me or I got to try and eat as much as I possibly can and I end up overeating, over consuming, getting too many calories. And that's something definitely that a lot of my patients will struggle with and trying to manage and get over is that clear the plate mentality of, you know, can I get up and walk away from this half half eaten plate of food? Is that possible? It's kind of the idea that, you know, there's people that are starving in other parts of the world. Like how dare you waste this food that's in front of you? But I'm telling you, it, it's kind of, it's okay. But that's something that we were environmentally ingrained in us and we grew up with and it makes it very challenging. And the final thing that um, some things that a lot of our parents kind of taught us is that when you do good, when you got a good report card, when you helped out with chores around the house, when you did good in a race or another activ physical activity event or something like that, you rewarded with ice cream or cookies, or chocolate, or something that is high sugar, high calories, low nutritional value, because, well, that's your reward. That's that's what you get. You did you did good. You deserve that. And a lot of us still have that that ingrained sense of when it comes to the cookies, or when it does, we do something good, or we have a proud moment, well, we want to have something to celebrate. We want to we wanna open it up and be like, yeah, I, I deserve to have that. That's something I should be having. And that's just been pre-programmed into us, because that's what our parents taught us, is that when you do good, you get a treat, and whatever that treat might be. And so a lot of these things are things that we kind of got from our environment, the people around us that we grew up with, and they've become programmed into us, kind of like our genes kind of pre-program us and that sort of thing. They can be very difficult to overcome and manage, but it is possible to make some changes around them and change some of those habits. Definitely, it's going to be done one small step at a time, because like I said, you're pretty much undoing some of the programming that's, that's essentially there. And a lot of it is completely out of your control, but it is doable. So that's a couple of the environmental things. We'll get a lot more into some of the environmental things in future videos here because there is so many things in our environment that absolutely contribute to the weight that each of us carries. But that's just some of the things that we were exposed and experienced so into when we were growing up. So if you're related to any of this, fantastic, awesome. We'd love to hear about it. Give me your comments, give me your questions. Um, and if anybody else might benefit from this, you know, share, like, get this video out there and, and provide it to them. All right, have a good one, guys.